gang? We are here today. We're going to do an unboxing of the um, Atom Stack. It is the Atom Stack X7 Pro. Now they call this a 50 watt uh, laser, which 50 watt is actually the input power. Um, the laser module combines two seven, or excuse me, two five watt modules to. Uh, come up with 10 watts of optical output power. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. This is my first laser cutter. So we're gonna unbox this thing really quick and uh, down the road we'll do some cutting and engraving and see what this thing is capable of. So, I ordered this thing right around Black Friday 2021. I think I ordered it maybe on the Thursday uh, beforehand, so Thanksgiving or Wednesday, I don't remember, but uh, it is now Friday, or no, now it's Tuesday, December 6th, so it took a little over maybe a week. So first thing that I see here, uh, it says giveaway, cutting mat, um, I don't know, it's just uh, basically a piece of metal. This was kind of a nice surprise, I didn't realize that it came with this, I've been looking, over, looking around for things to put underneath it so I don't damage anything, but um, so I guess your mileage may vary whether or not you end up with the cutting mat, so hopefully everybody gets that. Um, I know I'm not the first person to unbox this thing, but um, everybody that I've seen so far that has unboxed this cutter says so this package pretty well, so top layer of your standard black foam. We have got the uh, owner's manual. Um, I will be doing the uh, construction of this device here shortly, so that'll be fun. Um, we have got a standard uh, USB cable, nothing terribly fancy there. Looks like the good old bag of parts. Looks like there's the USB key in there. Uh, looks like a couple little, uh, well, hey, we're doing an unboxing, right? So I might as well kind of go through this. So what can you expect? Um, so we've got a few, now I don't know if these are parts that go on the machine or if this is just some samples that you can cut. It looks like, looks like it's just acrylic. I'm guessing maybe it's keychain, some keychain blanks there. So we've got three of those. I've got three pieces of, it's like uh, about credit card size plywood maybe just over a millimeter uh, thick. So you can kind of take a look at that. Then I have got, yeah, I think another, it's kind of, it's semi-transparent, dark uh, acrylic. I'm not sure, I think there's a protective coating on one side there. And then, yeah, it looks like the rest of this, so Pretty well organized, it says step one, these are some M525 uh, screws in there. Uh, step two, M514 and M56. So it looks like everything's labeled, I won't read those all. And then step three, we've got the belts, uh, like some end caps and some little, uh, I think, like T-rail nuts there. So that's that. I, little, Toolkit, I guess. So we have a, looks like a dry erase marker, a uh, double open-ended wrench, and three different size Allen keys, zip ties for putting everything together, and uh, it looks like maybe a cleaning cloth. I'm not sure what this uh, black. Oh, maybe they're well. No, I'm not sure if they're cut for feet or for what, but. So that is that. I'm going to put all that back in here. Oh, and then of course, as I mentioned before, bottom of the bag, we have the USB key, which probably has their, I think it's Gerbil uh, software. I'm going to be using Lightburn because pretty much everything I've ever read highly recommends using Lightburn. So I'm going to purchase that software and join that club. All right, so we got that. We've also got a little uh, brush here for getting rid of debris. 
Then, okay, we've got our HDMI cable, um, which is going to connect the little uh, control display to the CPU. We've got our various uh, cables here that are already attached at one end to the CPU. And if you haven't uh, gotten a good look at uh, this guy, you've got your emergency stop there, um, reset, power USB, micro SD card, power, and then a reset uh, button there as well. So that is that. Is that portion. Craig scraps that as well. Um, and again, this is, it's all really well uh, packaged in there. So hopefully we've got no damage on our, on our shipping. Here we've got our power supply. And I'm sure it's probably underneath here. We've got our, we've got three, uh, these are the three mounting feet. The uh, control box for CPU is actually the fourth mounting foot. And then what everybody is really hoping to see, I guess, or the reason that people are buying this unit is this module here that's slightly different than the rest of the, the rest of what's out there. Although this isn't the only laser module that combines two diodes to get 10 watts of output. So it's actually etched on the side here. It says M50GY uh, 21J14. You got your atom stack uh, label right there on the front. Um, 12 volt, 3 amp fixed focus, model M50. Wavelength 455 plus or minus 5 nanometers, pulse working duration 1 millisecond, frequency 1 kilohertz, maximum laser power 10 watts, and all the other good class 4 laser designation. Um, and this is something that you don't often get to see. I've only seen it in one video for somebody that was talking about adding an air assist. The way that they have this laid out, it does not lend itself terribly well to an air assist, but uh, I think in time, um, I'm going to remove that plastic piece there that's covering the uh, laser output lens, or that's kind of funneling down, um, and add an air assist. It'll require drilling a hole through this square frame, um, to attach a tube to, but uh, I think it'll definitely improve the performance of this device. So that'll be a future upgrade. It's kind of just kind of the top there. I didn't realize that uh, there's actually like a plastic cover over the electronics there, which is kind of nice. Keep keep stuff out of that. Um, I knew they were up there, but I'd never seen uh, that that lens on top. So. There's a little circuit board up there, a little heat sink, and then underneath that is the fan. So the fan draws air in, blows through all those heat sinks, and then probably that's why that cone is on there. But honestly, it looks that, I mean, if they would have made that bigger so that the air that went down, those fins would get captured in there, um, that might have actually aided a little bit in air assist, but I'm not sure why they even why they even put that thing there because uh, it just really makes the air go around uh, around it and it doesn't act as any kind of an air assist. So, uh, but that's the laser module. So, uh, I guess I should probably finish going through this box a bit because uh, we've got, uh, looks like, one side rail here. Yeah. So there's kind of a little hidden compartment there. So I pulled out this block and then this piece of foam was there. And that's got our other side rail. Underneath that we have the US power cord, which is something that I'm going to need. And 
ah, there's, oh, there's, boy, they really, they really pack stuff in here. I'll tell you what. I will probably, maybe if I watch my video back, I'd be able to put stuff back in here if I needed to, but I don't actually plan on disassembling this anytime soon. So we'll take that guy out of there. Take out our three feet. I'll probably reposition the camera to do a wonderful time lapse of the assembly process. And then here is the, I guess this is one of the reasons why the assembly is not terribly difficult. Um, the gantry here is completely assembled. And you can see there's a little quality certified here with a bunch of stamps on there. Uh, fastening check, controller test, mechanical test. Visual, visual check, packing list check. So, looks like they did a little bit of work. The bar is kind of protected here with some foam as well. You've got your limit switches, or the switch there already installed. And yeah, so, cool. Set that out over here. And then, another hidden compartment down here. Are we are other crossbars. This, this, I guess maybe the, it's kind of odd. This one is actually uh, wrapped in kind of a cellophane or something, but this one is not. It's probably just to keep one from rubbing on the other, and this is the one that's actually got the printed. Um, Kind of ruler on it and then your other limit switch is already attached and just waiting to be hooked up so that is almost everything in the box somewhere in here there must be aha and i need this other hidden compartment is the removable display and as you can see there it's got the plastic film over the screen so Back of it says Adam Stack, and then you got your HDMI port right there. So that looks to be everything. So I'll get some of this stuff back in here so I can get this out of the way. And of course, what would we do if we didn't have the silica gel to keep everything nice and dry? So, yeah feels like that's about it. So I'm gonna stop this and get to assembling. So we'll see how that goes. Should, uh, I've heard it takes about 30 minutes to put this thing together. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll find out.